great. Like, I really feel so cute, you know? Lego. Hey dolls, welcome back to my channel. If you don't know who I am, my name is Lisedi, aka Sesebe, aka Sedi, aka Seze, aka Dollzedi, aka whatever you want to call me. As long as you're on my channel, I don't really give two hoots, just jokes. Get my name right. Today I want to show you how to do your makeup um, wearing a mask. Um, obviously South Africa is bang in the middle of a huge pandemic that's obviously worldwide but we're currently you know in the eye of the storm right now and I think it's really important that everyone makes sure that they wear their masks. Um, there's honestly just so many sickness, I mean there's so many people who are sick out there right now currently and it's honestly just a lot to deal with and I just want you guys to feel your best do your best but also be motivated enough to know that you can wear a mask so I'm gonna get right into the video if you already if you have not already done so please do click the subscribe button and also click the notification bell to know when I upload new videos which are basically every Thursdays but you know you might want to get a bit of extra um, you know knocking on your doors to say hey Lizzy has a new video. The one thing I know about wearing a mask is that it becomes very humid around your um, your lip area, and it also can become a little bit um, humid just around the concealing part of your face, um, because obviously sometimes through a mask you'll notice if you're wearing glasses, the steam does you know it's a steam I don't know what it's called, but like the humidity does like trans like you know what is it like. It does transcend towards your eye area, um, depending how big your mask is. But typically, your mask should cover your nostrils and your face, um, and that should really help you, um, you know, get through the day. You do have to prime. Now, the one primer that I like to use is this NYX Hydrating Jelly Primer. Um, the first thing that you always want to do is to make sure that you have quite a tacky base. Um, what priming with a tacky base will do is just give you um, more leverage for your foundation to actually stick on to the actual foundation. The next thing I'm going to do is just color correct. <laughs> I don't know about you, I do my makeup for myself and I personally want to make sure that when I take off my mask and I'm, you know, alone, um, I'm not necessarily just gonna have like really super horrible looking um, melted makeup. So I do still like to color correct. The next thing that you really want to do is to just make sure that you're using a long wear foundation. That is the only thing that is going to make sure that your foundation actually lasts the whole day, okay? Um, that's going to make sure that you don't have like melting makeup. Also eliminating uh, makeup foundations that have a lot of oils is really going to help your makeup last longer because obviously oil and humidity just calls for a breakup. What's an oil? Do not mix. So your foundation will break if you use a oil-based um, foundation. So I like to use the Total um, Drop Foundation from NYX. I just feel like it is a good um, foundation to use. It's super dry, super thin. It won't give me that like cakey feel. Um, and it also gives me the coverage that I want. As I mentioned earlier, like being, you know, mentally happy and healthy is so important during this time, guys. It's part of the, it's, it's actually part of the, it's part of what makes you, you know, survive. And sometimes you do just need, you know, material things to just make you feel a little bit happy. The next um, thing that I'm going to use is the NYX Won't Stop, Can't Stop. This is a very long wear foundation, okay? I mean, concealer, sorry. This is a very long lasting um, concealer. It is extremely drying. Um, that's why I don't really like using a lot of it. So I will highlight with it um, on my lower um, part of my face and then for my eye for my under eyes I'm not gonna use this because it's honestly so drying it really really does not do justice to my under eyes like I literally look like a spoil this concealer honestly goes 
a little goes such a long way guys like you don't have to be doing the most okay you just highlighting that part with this not necessarily because of anything um but really just to just to highlight my face a little bit um, so you can see it's quite a fast drying um concealer but it has really done the lord's work for that lower part of my face and you can see that it's just now I'm starting to show you know the chisel that i'm trying to go for really. okay for my under eyes i'm going to use the makeup infallible i mean the l'oreal infallible foundations and um just gonna use it to highlight i'm gonna put a little bit of cocoa in the middle as well and then I'm just going to use the color Honey directly at the tip there and then also just over that. The reason I'm blending is because, you know, if I'm running errands, I don't need like a hectically defined face, you know. Like all I want is to just be able to... Um, look decent like not decent just to look and feel good like fresh and happy you know and you can see how i'm like highlighting that part of my face then i'm just gonna go back again with the honey and i just want a little bit more and then i'm just gonna plonk a little bit there the the forehead part of your face is not really gonna need a whole lot of um foundation because it's not gonna get moist unless if you're cyril and you're wearing your mask over your eyes go to my video from last week you will see why i've placed my concealer in that cat eye fox eye manner okay next we're going to um conceal as usual Bob's your uncle. You know, we're always using the baking powder. Baking is very important during, if you're going to be wearing a mask because that is ultimately what's gonna keep your skin dry. So if you have very oily skin um, or even just a very oily T-zone, wearing a mask will increase the amount of moisture um you know than usual than than people with you know, very dry skin. So the most important thing to do while um, if you are going to be wearing a mask that can really help save your makeup is to actually um, bake So all I'm gonna do is just plonk some of the powder on my chin and Remember that this is where most of the contact with the um, Foundation with the mask is going to be so you do really want to bake it nicely Okay, next I'm going to just bronze my face um, I always use this Morphe um, 24G Grand Glam Palette to bronze, but I usually just use, you know, these three colors to bronze. <sighs> Why we have to use eyeshadows to bronze, honestly, guys, at this point in time, I don't know. I can't even tell you because I don't understand why there just isn't, you know, bronzers for black people like i honestly really don't know and that's just another topic for another video that i will do about how unfair the system is for you know black people and just trying to find normal things to do your face with can be such a hack i'm going to leave this section of my mouth to just keep having the powder on and what I'm gonna do is just remove the powder underneath my eyes. Let me know in the comments if you guys are interested in like bronzing. I love bronzing. <gasps> Especially in the summer, guys. Bronzing will change your life. Concealer and bronzer, that's all you will ever need in your life. That is all you will ever, if, if you're not a makeup person, if you're not into makeup and beauty, if you just do those two things, like you will honestly achieve so much in your life. I've still left this part of my face powdered. Um, 
so i'm i'm not mad at it i'm i'm actually really liking this and then i'm going to use a shimmer blender it's like a little bronzing sort of shimmery eyeshadow not eyeshadow actually it's got bronzies in there and it's just a really pretty bronze color to work with but i feel like with wearing a mask you need to you know use a lot of powders so that your skin can stay very vibrant still through the moisture and everything um, without it feeling you know a bit tacky and starting to break apart and being cakey and stuff so i think powders are best for mask wearing i'm going to use this red kiss green tea um refreshing long mist lot lot last I can't even speak. Okay, I'm going to use the Refreshing Mist Long Lasting Hold. Why do why do makeup companies use such long freaking names for make like I hate it when they do that because it's such a tongue twister. Refreshing Mist Long Lasting Hold. Yeah, okay, this is just what it looks like, guys. It's rain kissed green tea. It's long lasting, and honestly, this is one of my favorite setting sprays. It really is long lasting. I will spray some of that on my chin area, but I, right now I'm still just letting the oil, the the foundation, just like you know, hold onto it. So let me quickly do my eye off camera, and then I'll be right back to show you the rest. Okay, guys. So generally, this is what I would look like. I just added like a glitter um, eyeshadow to my lids, did my brows, and I'm literally almost ready to go. The only thing I just want to put on is some blush because I mean it's not a lift me up without blush. Okay, so typically with um, wearing a mask. You won't see the apple of your cheek so if you are like me and like to put a lot of blush on the apple of your cheek it's not gonna really be visible so I'm just gonna show you guys what I do I'm using this um, blush called coral dream from makeup revolution it is a very lightly pigmented um, blush so just be aware if you are like myself dark skinned then you're not really gonna show it so you can see how I've placed the blush it's not necessarily all the way here because no one is gonna see it and I feel like it also lifts your face up when you place the blush along your cheekbone um, instead of the you know like the apple of your cheeks more okay so last but not least you obviously want to highlight your face um, I'm using this um, Geo Lasting Makeup Silky Touch um, Eyeshadow as my blush, as my, um, sorry, as my highlight and I love this because it gives my skin that like wet looking look because of all the glitter pieces in it. So I like to just, you know, it gives it that sort of um wet look like this is such a cute eyeshadow honestly i definitely like to have that you know glistening healthy look when i'm doing my when i'm gonna wear makeup like this and i'll just put a little bit there i typically don't like to wear any um um, um lip stuff when i am when I'm wearing a mask because number one no one's going to use it I mean no one's going to see it I'm not gonna see it it's not gonna make me feel like anything um, but also because it does sometimes tend to your mask does tend to slip and slide you know as you adjust it you might find it comes here you might find it comes here and so then you end up with like a lot of different colors around your mouth which is basically not ideal if you do want to wear a lipstick um, I would suggest obviously wearing a very matte drying lipstick obviously matte, matte lipsticks have their disadvantages because they do dry out extremely fast um, they dry out your lips very you know badly and I don't really like having like to fidget with my mask and put like you know I, I just when I put my mask on I don't want to fidget with it I don't want to touch it because I don't know what germs or bacteria is actually on there so I just use my little DCT on my lips for that and keep it simple keep it moving 
so you want your makeup to be as transfer proof as possible um which is why we used all the different long lasting and also very mattifying um mattifying products so obviously um underneath the mask it's very 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 humid so i'm gonna go run some errands i will be back to show you guys later in the evening exactly how my my face looks once i have actually removed the mask so it is currently 15 23 can you guys see that yeah it is 15 23 i'm gonna check in with you guys um later on and i will have this off obviously and we both can see how you know wearing a mask i mean the process that i just did actually will help preserve your makeup um application and if you have a meeting after your errand running you can still look cute guys okay so there is still some hope in the world out there so i'm gonna be back really soon and let's catch up then yay okay guys well i'm currently at the shop and obviously trying to get some packages can you tell if i'm smiling this makeup looks popping though This was a, this is what I was talking about in my video earlier about bronzes and how dark skin people literally never have bronzes. I mean, this is the color of my face or lighter, and that that ain't gonna bronze nobody. Nobody. You already know. Okay, guys. I'm at the last shop. Just showing you how my makeup still looks. It's still good. I just want to finish my cool drink before going to the shop. Burnt for the day. This is the first thing that I do when I get back home. From being in the mall. Spray your mask off. And you're done. I've literally just, you know, been at the mall, running some errands quickly. And you can see, like, I can literally come back, have my Zoom meeting, do whatever else that I need to do. And if I need to run out again, I can pop my, um, you know, mask back on. Um, especially those of you who are in the office, like, I just want you to know that, you know, you don't have to be gloomy and think, oh, I'm not going to wear a mask. I'm going to wear a mask, so why should I do my face? Like, if doing your face makes you happy then do your face i'm really happy with it i mean obviously over here i'm starting to get oily which is normal like th that is normal but also considering the fact that i had a mask for two hours straight um you would think that it would look worse or that the product was breaking down but it's not even my smile line is not really you know as even my smile line isn't as you know defined as it usually is so it's not too bad basically in conclusion use long way or long lasting way um, products don't use um, heavily oil based products products that are very oily um, obviously in the winter right now and you know if you are gonna put a hydrating um, moisturizer make sure that you bake so that you can be as dry as possible but also use um, very um, mattifying products that will, will help you. So for anyone who's been watching this video, if you can tell me how many times I sanitized my hands in this video, you will literally get a, um, you will literally get a prize, the witch palette from Essence, and that will be delivered to your doorstep in the coming week. So 
watch this video watch the full video and let me know what you think let me know how many times I sanitize my hands and let me know if you think this is a foolproof um, mask proof basically not foolproof mask proof um, way to wear your makeup um, considering everything that I told you guys about making sure that you magnify and let me know if you guys like videos like this in the comments down below if you haven't done so already like I said in the beginning of this video like comment and subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video next week bye